Hi, welcome everyone. This is Giovanni. Welcome to Grammar Class 101. And for those who are new in this uh, channel, yes, welcome. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on, turn on that uh, notification bell. All right, let's go, guys. Our topic today or tonight, yes, we have this uh, linking verb versus that this action verb, and I am going to um, to teach you what is the technique, the technique to identify, yes, to identify them. All right, rock and roll, yo. <laughs> Let's go. Guys, um, short review, that linking verb is a linking verb, does not express. It does not express um, action. It's just only a connector or it connects our subject of the sentence and that of the additional information of the sentence or of the subject per se so it's just this kind of yes added additional information so let me see and that the action verb guys is yes basically our basic uh, information about this action verb it shows uh, an action like that of the jump for example this one run run and swim these are yes verbs that show action all right example for linking verb is that yes we have here daniela you know daniela guys <laughs> daniela is my new friend is in here is our linking verb that connects our subject then daniela and that of who is Daniela? Is this the, uh, the additional information? Daniela is a new friend. It's the base, this is the basic function of the Lincoln verb. All right. So take note, guys. Take note that is and are. This is our basic way of thinking Lincoln verbs. Is and are, but linking verb, guys, is and are. It's not only linking verb. Yes, it's not only is and are linking verbs. Yes, it's not only is and are are linking verb. Yeah, I'm going to show to you why and what are those linking verb. The C. Yes, see here. Excuse me. <laughs> linking verbs that may be used are yes, other verbs may be used as a linking verb LV, like this. Appear, feel, look, seem, sound, taste, grow, yes, um, remain, remain, smell, stay, and turn. If you try to figure this out, guys, these verbs may look like Yes, a linking verb it may be used a linking verb, but then again, it may also be used as action verb. Now I'm going to tell you or teach you the technique how to identify really identify between the two. Let's go. So we have here note. This is our stepping stone. This is our Bible that. To determine whether a verb is used as a linking verb or an action verb in a sentence, what are we going to do is just replace the verb. So for example, we have a sentence. You try to first look into the verb and replace that verb with am. Yes, here we have am, are. And S, that main verb of the sentence, we replace that. We replace that A with am, um, uh, are, or is. So, if the sentence makes sense, after the replacement, uh, despite the replacement, then the original verb is used as linking verb. Ah, 
However, if the sentence becomes illogical, meaning it's not understandable, cannot be understood, technically it cannot be understood. Hmm. When the replacement is made, then the original verb of that sentence is used as action verb. Uh, it sounds confusing, but I will try to to elaborate this one by citing some examples. Okay, what does it mean? Based on that um, uh, note, example in here. This is very exciting, guys. How are you going to identify the verb, action verb, and the linking verb? Example number one, Daniela again. Tumigil ang mundo, Daniela. Daniela f- feels young. What are we going to do first is to identify what the verb of the sentence. We have here the subject, Daniela. And that our verb in here is feels. That's our verb. Yes, and the additional information, young. Yeah, adjective. Now, how are we going to know that this verb is action verb or um, linking verb? Yes, according to that rule, according to that note, we, we replace this feels, this verb, with am, um, is, or are. Let us see. Let us see. Ah, excuse me. Here. Wow. Okay. Here. Replace with is, are, am. Um. So the sentence now becomes Daniela is young. It's not Daniela are young because it's Daniela singular. So is. We try to uh, replace that with is. It's not am um because it's not I. So Daniela is young. So therefore, after the replacement, you try to ask yourself this question. Is it logical? Is it does it does it sound correct? Is it meaningful? Is it logical? So Daniela is young. Is it logical? The answer is yes, it's logical. So therefore our our verb in here, this feels is linking verb. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is used as linking verb. That's what I have said to you that is and are are, are not only linking verb. There are words. Uh, there are other words. Okay? Okay. Next example is here. What does it mean again? Example number two. These mangoes or mangoes uh, tasted sour. Tasted sour. So again, what is the verb the sentence? The verb of this sentence is tasted. We have this subject, uh, these mangoes, like that. Uh, sour, yes. Man- mangoes are described as sour. Okay? Tasted, we replace again this sen- uh, verb with what? Yes. Excuse me. Mm. There and there. Excuse me. Replace with is, are, or am. So the sentence now becomes, what? So these mangoes are sour. After the replacement, you try to ask yourself, is it logical or not? And definitely, absolutely, the answer to this uh, question is, yes, it's logical. So therefore, tasted is Lincoln verb. Yes, you've got it. Okay? Next. Mm-hmm. Next. Okay. This one. Excuse me. <laughs> Example. Uh, okay. This one. I tasted the rice cake. Again, the verb of this sentence is tasted. So, because it's tasted, we replace this with what verb or be verb is our guys are also known as be. Be verb, be, be, be verb. Okay, replaced with is, are, am. So the pronoun I, our subject here is I. So we replace that with am. 
It's not is, it's not are, it's am. I am the rice cake. I am the rice cake. In grammar, guys, uh, there is uh, what we call semantics. Where in semantics, we, it looks into the meaning of the sentence. If, this, if the sentence is sound or grammatically correct, it's mean, meaning of the sentence. It's meaningful, yes, it's all right, but in here, figuratively, this is correct. But in semantics, in the field of, yes, in the field of semantics, guys, it's not acceptable. So in here, does it, does it sound uh, logical? Try? No, it's not logical. So because it's not logical, tasted, the verb tasted is used as action verb. Action verb. Yes. Yes, guys, that's action verb. So, next. Okay. Next example. Just mean feels the pain no whatever the pain it is but the important thing is Jasmine is experiencing that pain in her heart heartbreak you know okay our verb in here in circle the verb feels and then again we try to replace that with is our arm Jasmine is the pain what not pain, pain, pain. Okay. Just mean, is the pain. Question is, is it logical or not? No, it's not logical. So, therefore, the verb feels is used as an action verb. Guys, you've got it. Okay, all right. It's a lot of rock and roll to the world. Woo. All right. So, next. Let's check. Okay. The exciting part of this presentation. Let us check uh, whether again uh, you can pause this video and take time to answer. The, my only instruction is to to guess yes, of course. But by applying those uh, uh, tips and how to identify between the action and the the linking verb. In here, in each item, in each uh, sentence, I have already uh, read. Uh, the colored red is one the verbs which are you are going to replace with that is um or are yes that some things can let us check number one as I turned the pages of the book excuse me I could not help but cry what happened maybe the book is dramatic <laughs> dramatic nakarilitka <laughs> Rock and roll, uh, move on, life, life is so meaningful, uh, yes, woo, enjoy, party party. Again, as I turn the pages, what happened? Turn. Replace that verb, turn, with, this one, what, uh, what are we going to replace? Am, um, is, uh, are, very bold. R and um. Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> oh. Okay, that we are going to replace. So what happened is in here. What happened is, as I am the pages, it sounds terrific. So therefore, the answer in here is what. Excuse me. Yes, this is action verb. Number two, I stayed in their house as I stayed. I am. I am. This one. I am in their house. The answer is Lincoln verb because that's logical. I am their house. Number three, ang provinciano remains. Remains. The verb is remains. A favorite primetime TV in the Philippines. Yes, welcome to the Philippines. I'm here in the Philippines, guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Philippines, yes. <laughs> Remains. Ang Provinciano is. Re replaced with is. A f uh, favorite primetime. It's logical, yes. The answer is. Lincoln verb. Lincoln verb. Number four, Cardo. You know Cardo? It's the character of the Provinciano. Uh, the undying. <laughs> 
Pratay mga bidak. Cardo became known as Malakas or strong actor. So we have here Cardo is known as became is Cardo be, is known as Malakas or strong actor. The answer is yes. Linking verb. Yes. Number five. The first man felt sad or the first man is sad. Yes. Logical. The answer is linking verb. Woo! So guys, I hope you've got the whole thing, the whole thoughts of this presentation. And I hope you like it. And if you like it, yeah, please give it that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this video and turn on that notification bell for my future uploads. So thank you guys. Uh, see you. See you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Mabuhay.